Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Empire State Warrior, and today's video is going to be over, not the tank, not the somewhat SM, but how to clutch up in World of Tanks Blitz. This game is 100% based on what you can do with the tank you're in. Now, I know I probably have never, like, truly described that in a sense. But here's exactly what I mean. If you're good with heavy tanks, then you're good with heavy tanks. You know what you're going to do. You're probably going to side scrape. You're probably going to stay in front. Or if it's a support heavy tank, you're going to support your team. You're going to sit back and wait. This tank is a mix of both. You can be aggressive. I don't know where that one went. I, I This game doesn't like me, I guess. But the third shell does go in. Low roll. This game really doesn't like me, does it? Anywho, that clip is the exact opposite of this game for me. I am going to get absolutely insane luck this game. As you can see, I bounced the IS-5, luckily, luckily, luckily there. And as you can see, I'm about to unload on this poor tiger. And another average roll, and a high roll. So I had three pretty good rolls there. So I got my damage back up to 1,200 damage in four shells. That one low roll, though, 246. Ugh, I still cannot believe I low rolled that bad. Actually, 249, sorry. That's that's still a huge low roll. I realized the VK is sitting there, so I'm like, do I want to push this? And then I saw the T-34 pushing. I was like, I've got to push this. So, of course, the guy I'm going to go for is the lower hit point tank. Why? Because he still has a gun, and he's still useless. It's useful, sorry, useless, Jesus Christ. Look at them low rolls. He would be dead if I had average rolled all three shells. If I would have normal rolled all three shells, he probably would have died. Which, in turn, would have probably saved the T-34. But, he did die, which is unfortunate. And I'm getting the hell out of there, because I know that it's going to be a bitch if I don't. And... I get shot from the glacial. He goes for me. I don't know why. And I'm pretty sure that IS-5 was going for me. Don't know why. Anywho. Where did that bounce? Second shell pens. And the third shell goes through. For hitting me for 2,600 damage. But as you can see, my team is not living very well. They're not doing much. And my team's struggling here. Now as you see, my... T-43 goes down, and the Glacial on the enemy team does go down right then. So I'm going to be pushing the IS-5, and the IS-5 does make the right decision here in going for the Tiger too, in which someone else gets in later on. And two shots, ram, I'm going to fix my track, look up, take out another tank, two tanks in three shells. Very, very well done. That's a very good thing that I did. Now, the Panther is going to do an incredible move here, which is probably what won us this game. So props to the Panther taking out that Leo. And I have my work cut out for me. There's a full HP T-34 slash 2 and this guy who's almost full HP. First shell goes through. Pretty average roll. Second shell is an incredible high roll. And the third shell, a pretty good roll as well, putting me up to 4,590 damage with that Ram. Now, the T-34-2 is completely stock, so only it has 160 millimeters of pen. So even the Coppola on the front of the turret there is incredibly strong to that tank. So I'm just going to sit right in front of him and do what this tank does best. Just being... I... Can somebody explain to me how that missed? Second one does go in, and the third one's going to go in as well for 593 damage, and I'm worried about the VK, and there he is, okay, so I know where he's at, that's perfect. And he is a two shot, and this T-34 slash two is a three shot, technically. It's gonna take three shells to kill him, and two shells for the VK. And the T-34 two is running, and I'm like, okay. Uh, don't wanna run right there. So I'm just gonna go and find the VK. Because simply enough, he is the deadlier tank. This is the right decision here. I go for the right tank in this situation. Lucky bounce. He bounced right next to my Coppola. 
lucky, lucky bounce, which is going to cost them the game. These two couldn't do anything. This tank is just extremely powerful. But there is two games. This is the first one. And I know this seems like a really good game. Like, I did everything right. I played phenomenal. I had every shot hit for me. I was just doing everything correctly. But this one isn't what I'm really going to talk about here. When I say clutching up, I mean doing everything you can to win, even with mistakes. Going back and fixing mistakes. 6,287 damage, 4 kills, 147,000 credits. And you can just see the monumental carry I had. But well done for the Panther. He was a, just a decent player. He's just an average player at best. But he played perfect in that situation. He got rid of another medium tank that easily could have flanked me. And did an incredible amount of damage to me. And that could have easily lost me the game. If that Leo would have survived, I probably would have lost that game. So well done from the Panther. This game, as you just saw from the amount of time it took to finish that game, 7 minutes and 12 seconds, this is going to be a down-to-the-wire game. And for good reason. Uh, I'm grinding up the line on this one so I can get the IS-7 because it has been newly, like, it's kind of a buff. The tank has been stretched out to where it's kind of like the one on, like, PC, to where it now has a sharper armor. Meaning the turret doesn't have as many weak points. The whole armor, the pike nose isn't near as weak. The only thing that actually is truly weak is the lower plate from the pike nose, which is still pretty weak, and the side armor is pretty much the same. Actually, it is a little bit thicker, like the side skirt is thicker like, now. Anyway, let's just say... I run out of AP shells, is to tell you how many times I fire. It don't mean I get insane damage. I get pretty good damage, around 4k damage, or a little bit above. But it doesn't mean I get ex an extreme amount. I miss quite a few shells, and I make quite a few mistakes. But in the end... I was testing my Russian bias there. Didn't work. <laughs> and of course, you know the Poodle has good penetration. But he just didn't pen that shot. I have no clue where I penned on that. And of course, we all know where he penned on that. He penned right in front of my turret. This thing's turret isn't the best, as you can tell. Yeah, he went straight through that little cheek right there. Which, of course, is pretty natural for this to happen. Because I'm about to bounce. Seriously? Ah, uh, Russian bias is about to kick in. So I've already wasted three shells because I missed three, pretty much. And then... Where was that two minutes ago? Russian bias kicks in and I hit him full move with... Awful dispersion ratings. I have no clue how that hit. Anywho, back to what I was saying. I will go down one versus four, but... The thing that saves me is an AFK, and watch my response to the AFK. As soon as I realize they have an AFK, watch what I do. Because I play it perfect. The four guys that I'm going to be playing against is the ARL, these four here. These four people here is what I'm going to be playing against. And Russian accuracy. Excuse me, I was trying to show you exactly which four I'm going to play against. It's this four right here. Because the VK gets spotted, and I'm just going to push him. Because simply enough, I know he's a dangerous tank. He can be a dangerous tank, even stock. Because every gun on that tank has above 140 mils of pen. In fact, 148 on the stock. 150 on the maxed out gun. 106. No, yeah, 150. And then 157 for the smaller gun. The one that the VK28.01 has. Which is still a da and dangerous gun. It is still a very dangerous, very viable gun. And you can see my team is starting to dissipate. My Tiger 1 is above half HP. My Poodle is, I think, half HP, but I can't tell. Below half HP. My AMX is a one-shot. And my Tiger has just gotten pushed. Yeah, not looking good. 
and I've only got eight AP shells left. This shows you exactly how heart stopping this game was for me. And then my tiger goes down. My poodle goes down. And then my AMX goes down. And that guy goes AFK. I am one versus four. There's a whole hell of a lot of hit points to go through. And that was a good shot there. I had a shot and I took it. <coughs> Excuse me. Watch the low roll I get here. Are you serious? That's gonna cost me some hit points. I think. Never mind, it doesn't cost me a single hit point. So, it's sitting on three kills, 2600, 2700 damage technically, and 960 blocked. Yeah, I am not sitting too well with 995 HP. Because the Tiger can finish me in five shots, the Arrow can finish me in five shots, U Panzer can finish me six, seven shots. Thing is, the U Panzer is AFK right in front of that tiger, dead Tiger. So, yeah, I'm kind of in a sticky situation. I don't know one of them's AFK until later on in the match. And the Tiger is now spotted. So, yeah, and here is where Russian accuracy just fails. How the hell did that miss? Somebody explain to me. How did that miss? They're gonna get one more shot into me before I get away. And apparently, Stalin said, okay, you're not getting shot no more. So here's what's gonna happen. The next minute and a half of this game is dedicated to Russian bias. I swear to God, this game could not have been more biased towards this tank, ever. Oh, I forgot about that shot. Ugh. This game some this. So, of course, I realized the Tiger's pushing right. To, sorry, left. So, I'm going to push the right side. Simply because I realized something. The ARL has that smaller gun, 170 mils of pen. So, if I keep my front armor in front of me, literally, he's going to bounce. And guess what happens? Yeah, he bounced. 3k damage. And here's immediately what I do. I know the tiger's coming. I know he is. So I'm going to get him, and I'm going to book it. There's the U-Panzer. I realized, okay, AFK. And I immediately ignore him. This is what you need to do in situations like this. As you see, I'm out of AP shells. I am relying on APCR. I'm going to face hug. In a situation like this, where you're down, and you're down big, this is a huge deficit. I am, I am down. There's nothing I can do here. And the tiger makes the best play he can make. He starts going forward. And then Stalin says, F you. <laughs> I get so lucky. There is no amount of luck that I could have had. I use HE here, because I know. I know. Stalin said clutch. Stalin said clutch. And you can see the monumental carry I had. Well, on the enemy tiger, he wasn't the best player, but he did his job well, even though at the end, he did be kind of newbie. The U Panzer, well played, I guess. I mean, you're a reroll, but I can't really talk. I do have some reroll accounts that I use, but. It was just phenomenal gameplay. Phenomenal gameplay. If you don't really like the IS, I'm going to tell you, you know, it is a strong tank, but there is tanks that are better, like, alternatives to this. If you want a really good Tier 7 that has the same gun, pretty much the same hole, but stronger overall, I'd say the IS-2 Pravda, and if I had another one that could compare to the IS, it'd be the IS-2 Berlin. Both of those tanks are stronger than this one, have better holes, their turret armor seems better, their gun seems more accurate, it, it's just better overall. Anywho, I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any videos you'd like to send me, send them to titanwiseman56 at gmail.com, and I will talk to you guys later.